Thank you, Flavio. Um, so I'm Christine Marie George, and I'm an associate professor at Johns Hopkins. I'm an infectious disease epidemiologist and environmental engineer, and I love WASH. <laughs> so today I'll be presenting on our research related to targeted WASH interventions to reduce cholera. Um, and so I have two sites. I have one site where I work in partnership with the Ministry um, and Research Training Management International and ICD-DRB in Bangladesh. And I also have the pleasure of working in Congo uh, with the Ministry of Health there as well, as well as Catholic University Bukavu. Um, and these studies both focus on building the evidence base on WASH to reduce cholera. And so the rationale behind our work, as I'm sure all of you in the room are aware, when there's a cholera patient, those that are living in close proximity are at very high risk of getting subsequent cholera infections. However, there's very limited research on effective WASH. So we're implementing case area targeted interventions. We're implementing rapid response teams. But we have limited evidence on the effectiveness of these approaches in terms of increasing WASH behaviors and reducing cholera. And so our goal was to fill this evidence gap. So I'll start with our work in Bangladesh. And so we started the Chobi 7 program in 2013. Um, and it's Chobi means picture in Bangla for the pictorial wash module that we deliver as part of this program. And in our first version of Chobi 7, it was health facility initiated. And we were trying to reduce household transmission of cholera among cholera patients. And we conducted a randomized control trial um, in 2013 to 2014 and showed that this intervention was highly effective in significantly reducing cholera by bacterial culture among the household members of cholera patients. And so building on that work, we've expanded the scope of the Chobi 7 program to include those living within a 20 meter ring of a cholera patient. And so here I show our approach. And so we go to the area where a cholera patient has been identified at a health facility in Bangladesh. We go and our promoters deliver a pictorial wash module on water treatment, hand washing with soap and safe water storage um, to the 20 meter ring around the cholera patient. We provide a hygiene kit, which we show here. And then we have a mobile health component, which is an innovative aspect of our study where we send out automated voice and text messages on WASH-related behavior. And we've shown previously that this has led to significant increases in WASH behavior. And these are sent out weekly for three months. And so here I show a video. Let's see if it's going to work. So I show a video of delivery of one of these ring sessions. And what's really interesting is here we have a child that's from the cholera patient ring delivering the module on the key times for hand washing with soap. And so a very important aspect of our programs are in community engagement, not only in terms of delivery of the, the intervention, but also engaging the community and using communal hand washing stations and the other practices we're promoting. And so in all of our sessions, we have hygiene champions that are delivering part of the, the wash uh, communication. And all of our work is developed through formative research, which includes in-depth interviews, focus group discussions, as well as workshops to ensure that the community's perspectives are included as part of the intervention. Um, and so in 2021, we conducted the first randomized control trial um, of rapid response teams. And this was done in some areas of DACA. And so this was done during the pandemic. Um, we had two study arms. The first arm received the standard message given in Bangladesh on the use of oral rehydration solution. Um, and then we delivered our Chobi 7 cholera rapid response program that I sh shared in the previous slide. And we randomized rings to be in one of these two arms. And so now I'll go into our results. We observed that there was significantly higher hand washing with soap. And this was observed all the way out until our three month follow up. Is the clicker here? Oh, it's a behind. Let's see if I turn everything off here. There we go. So at our three-month follow-up, um, the solid line is the standard message arm, and hand washing with soap by five-hour structured observation was 22%, and then it was 44% in our Chobi 7 rapid response team arm. And all of these uh, time points were statistically significant. So it showed the intervention was effective in terms of increasing hand washing with soap. We also looked at diarrheal disease in this trial, um, and we found that delivery of the Chobi 7 rapid response team, again, significantly reduced 
diarrhea among those living in a ring around a cholera patient household. And so the findings from this small trial showed that this intervention was effective in terms of increasing wash behavior, but also reducing diarrhea. And so based on this, we're now conducting a much larger trial of over 3,000 participants in some areas of Dhaka, Bangladesh, to see if this intervention can reduce cholera. And so cholera confirmed by a bacterial culture and also looking at rises in vibrocidal antibody titers. And so this will be the first study of this type with cholera as an outcome um, for a randomized control trial. And this will go on until 2025. Next, uh, our work took us um, in 2017 to DRC. Um, and here we partner with the government of DRC, um, as well as Catholic University in Bukavu. And the current project is funded through Malcolm. Um, and we work in Eastern DRC um, in South Kivu province. And so this is the preventative intervention for cholera for seven days. I'm trying to go back here. Um, and the acronym is PICHA7, and PICHA means pitcher in Swahili, just like Chobi meant pitcher in Bangla, and it's for, again, the bacterial wash modules. But the difference for this program is that we're starting with focusing on the cholera patient households, like we did with Chobi7, to see if wash can reduce household transmission of cholera in this new setting in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And so here I show the delivery of the PITCHA7 program. This one is health facility initiated since it's focusing on cholera patients. And so pictorial wash modules delivered in the health facility. This is reinforced through home visits. We provide the same hygiene kit. And then also we send out weekly voice and text messages. But in this case, it's sent out for 12 months. And this, again, was developed through formative research with community engagement, community workshops, as well as in-depth interviews and focus group discussions. And so we are currently conducting a randomized control trial of this intervention among 2,280 participants in some areas in Bukavu. We have our two study arms. Um, the standard message arm is the same as in Bangladesh on ORS. And then we have uh, our PITCHA7 arm. And uh, patients are randomized in the health facility to be in one of these two arms. And so now I'll go into our results. And again, to my knowledge, this is the, the first randomized control trial of an intervention, a WASH intervention focused on cholera in a sub-Saharan African setting. And so we conducted five-hour structured observation. And so here I'm showing our interim findings since our trial is ongoing. Um, but we are following households all the way out to 12 months. And so even at our 12-month follow-up, we're seeing significantly higher hand washing with soap as stool and food related events among cholera patient households in our pitch of seven arm at 52% compared to only 7% in our standard arm. We also did unannounced spot checks, so people didn't know we were coming, um, and we tested their drinking water for free available chlorine. And again, we found significantly higher water treatment practices in the pitch of seven arm compared to the standard message arm. So it's 53% at our 12 month follow up compared to 0% in the standard arm. And so these findings um, show that the pitch of seven program is effective in terms of increasing wash behaviors. And when our trial is completed, we'll know whether it's effective in terms of reducing cholera, which we're, we're very excited about. Um, and in terms of our future plans, we're really interested in broadening the scope from focusing on the cholera patient in DRC to those that are in a CATI or case area targeted intervention around the cholera patient to see if this approach would be equally effective. Thanks. And so then the next, the final part of the presentation, I wanted to highlight our partnership with the ministry as well as Catholic University of Bukavu in terms of our surveillance. So through our funding through uh, from Welcome, we were able to conduct cholera surveillance at 115 health facilities in South Kivu over the past three years. We also established the Pitch of Seven Enteric Disease Microbiology Laboratory, where we culture vibrio cholera in water, wastewater, and stool. And this has really allowed us to build the capacity for laboratory surveillance in South Kivu. So in closing, through our partnerships with the ministries of health in both DRC and Bangladesh, We've been able to build evidence on effective interventions that are targeted to increase wash behaviors and cholera heart spots. Um, and so we're really looking forward to the findings from our upcoming trials in terms of seeing if these interventions are effective in terms of reducing cholera. Thank you.